Can you maybe just give us an overview of why people are out here and well, what is the concern? Well, we're obviously here because Honda have made uh, an announcement that they intend to close our car plant, the only car plant in the whole of Europe. And they made their announcement in a way that was distinctly un-Japanese. They, our workforce found out about it through the media. Uh, the trade unions were not consulted. Actually, the company should be ashamed of themselves. They would never ever have done that in Japan. They wouldn't have been allowed to get away with such disgraceful action in Japan. But we have to put that behind us. And we have to now make certain that they understand that we intend to fight to see our our plants. We, uh, we intend to, with the help of our government, to put together a strategy and a different, uh, a different plan uh, that can keep the plants hopeful. Uh, it's a viable plant. People have worked for this plant for many, many years, given loyal service to uh, the company, and they shouldn't be treated in this way. So we're optimistic that we can still defend our plant. We'll be talking to our Japanese unions, our sister unions in Japan, in order for them uh, to bring to the attention of the company that this is no way for a Japanese company to behave. What do you think is the practical opposite? Because the Honda wasn't uh, making connection with Brexit. Um, they were very, very carefully choosing their word. And I think there is the intention not to annoy the, the parliamentarians of the government in general. Well, obviously, the issue relating to Brexit is slightly separate from where we are. We've got uh, the European Union have reached an agreement with Japan on trade. Uh, without any consultation, incidentally, with ourselves on that. But the truth of the matter is that if Honda were to commit themselves to the type of decent company that they uh, project themselves to be, then they will be talking to us about alternatives. They will be talking to us about how we can defend these workers and give a future and a future to Swindon, the decimation uh, would be uh, dramatic. We're talking not only about 3,500 uh, jobs, direct jobs here in Honda, but a further 15,000 in the supply chain. It's a devastating decision by this company and we're saying to them, we want you to keep an open mind and discuss with us other alternatives. It's as simple as that. They owe it to these decent men and women. Um, in general, how worried are you about post-Brexit manufacturing? Well, obviously that depends on what the Brexit deal will be, but I'm fairly confident that Parliament will not allow a no-deal Brexit, so I'm hoping that uh, the deal that eventually is conducted will protect jobs and investments and we can continue in a frictionless trade uh, agreement with the European Union. I'm confident that can happen, but we'll wait to see. It's a moving, uh, it's a moving feast at the moment. It changes on a daily basis, and we'll have to wait to see what happens in the coming weeks. But one thing is certain: we will not have a no deal. Uh, that undoubtedly will be blocked by Parliament. Just to recap, you think the decision of Honda has nothing to do with the fact that Britain once promised itself as a launch pad to the EU and now it's just that I mean, it's, that circumstances have changed. Well, that the, company, the company are basically saying no, it's got nothing to do with Brexit. It's more to do with the fact that there's a deal now between the European Union and Japan. Um, but we believe that there's further debates and discussions about alternatives. Honda doesn't need to exit the United Kingdom. We believe that by staying in Swindon with alternative products, they can continue to be as profitable as they've been over many, many years now. And that's an argument that we want them to take on board. I'm optimistic. I'm always optimistic and I believe the strength of feeling uh, within the workforce, within the community and indeed within Parliament. Many of the politicians will be appalled at the decision of Honda to do what they've done and I'm hoping that all of that will persuade the company to reconsider and to sit down with us and discuss uh, how we protect the future and how we move forward together. Thank you very much.